Hello everyone, I am AJ, and I'm here with another episode of Sid Meier's Pirates, and today I am helping deliver this ultimatum, and I'm also coming to the conclusion that it is just not an option to marry a Spanish governor's daughter this time around, because I cannot find a beautiful Spanish governor's daughter anywhere near where I want to be. Okay, this is really annoying. You're really crashing into me a lot. Quick attack. Rapier, use quick attack. Yay! So much for that guy. Come here, old buddy, old pal. Come here. I'm gonna kill you. So I had recorded some GTA, the new update, and there was nothing wrong with the content, just the audio was really bad for some reason. So I uploaded it anyways, but then I decided it was just not up to quality. It was just not up to quality, so I deleted it. You're kidding, right? There we go. And even though that would have been the optimal day to upload the Grand Theft Auto video, because I wouldn't have gotten a chance to get more for a while, I I just had to delete it. I couldn't I couldn't deal with that. Yay, free stuff. Oh, did I take the ship? I did. Abandon. No problem. You know, someday, I'm gonna sail the seas forever and swashbuckler with every single pirate ship in the game. In my fleet. The famous ones. I really would like to... <laughs> repair my ship. Really badly. I'm gonna have to avoid storms. Yeah, 7462. Not a great Factorio. Not a great Factorio at all. So, the ultimatum did in fact get received. And apparently, they are now at war. So I'm here dropping off at the Dutch land. To see if there's a beautiful governor's daughter here. Dead. Well, where is he? Which one is it? Wait, I already stopped there. I really should get my ship repaired. That is expensive. There, you happy? Yep, I spent huge amounts of my money. And I'm a captain. Pray, beautiful. Ooh, I can't, uh... I can't get between Spain and... Dutchland. What's Dutchland called? Uh, I'll just call it Dutchland. P.S. I'm not an idiot. I know it's actually called Canada. Anyways, sailing away. Let's go find some stuff to kill! Yeah! For example, this English ship. Yeah! Well, that didn't work. Luckily, I am very skilled with the sword. If you know what I mean. And by that, I of course mean murdering people with the sword. Let's dance! Cliche or something. I don't know. Was that a cliche? Maybe it was just a trope. Who knows? A show can be as cliche as it wants as long as it's self-aware. That's what I believe at least. Like a 
That comic I keep talking about on reading, The Order of the Stick. It's super cliche, but it's extremely self-aware as well. And 50% of the time, it actually has a really surprising and interesting story. 50% of the time. And 50% of the time, the jokes are highly predictable. But that means that the other 50%, they're actually really funny. You see my reason in here yet? Perhaps you don't. Maybe I need to explain it in more words and with longer sentences. Yes, that seems to be the solution. What has this governor got for me? Yes, I'm a major. That is a lot of acres. Attractive? Oh, still not good enough even for the attractive ones? Nothing's ever good enough for you. Right? Right? Somebody agree with me. So let me tell you a story while I hunt Marquis Montalban. So when I play Dungeons Ampersand Dragons, that is how I pronounce it, Dungeons Ampersand Dragons. Because who really uses an ampersand? That is the Shift 7 button on your keyboard. Ampersand. So anyways, Dungeons Ampersand Dragons, when I play it, I always play the thief. Because no one ever seems to want to play the thief. At least with the people I play with. Which is understandable. Thieves are a, are a decent class. But their power stagnates around mid-level, and they don't get much more powerful than that afterwards. However, they are highly important to a dungeon adventure. So, just to punish everybody for making me be the thief, which I enjoy, I always roleplay as a Kender. That's my species, Kender. Not Halfling, Kender. And what that means is it basically means that I don't shut up, which I already don't, already in character, excellent. Um, kleptomaniac, okay, I'm not that. Has zero fear, okay, this is getting a little bit iffy here. And has no social skills. Now that sounds like me again. But it's actually harder to roleplay as a kender than you'd think. Because you basically have to throw away all your logic reasoning skills. You have to throw away all your logic reasoning skills. And be truly fearless. That's harder than you'd think what you would do. You also have to be impulsive. Have you got a... Are you on a boat? Do you have a super awesome, amazing ranged weapon? You, does a sea monster come up out of the ocean? You throw that super amazing weapon. And it falls into the ocean. That's good role-playing. Just one of many examples. But let's see if Marquis Montalban is here now. That is the question that I am hoping to get an answer for. Come to think of this, this place is Spanish. Do they have a beautiful governor's daughter? Oh cool, I'm a Marquis. Hey, what do you know? Wait, is this the one I need to? Mary? I don't remember. This song is different than the last time I played. They must have different songs for different difficulties. Although I already hypothesized on this fact. Yeah, I get that spin on. Ah. I so got this. Yes. I'm getting his dancing down. Well, good thing I had those boots on there. Because I would have messed up if my shoes didn't have autocorrect. 
If only shoes had autocorrect in real life. Maybe they'd keep you from walking into a wall when texting. Cause seriously, are you saying you don't walk and text at the same time without looking up? Oh, shoot. What did I press? I thought I really could have. What? Oh. Well, that just stunk. But three months ago, from carcass. Carcass? A dead body? Those are worthless. F fascinating. Yeah, yeah. Let me check the map. Where is Carcass? Oh, maybe that could be three months. Hmm. Unless I'll let you know. New information has driven me to the conclusion that I shall go to Santiago. So Santiago, I shall go. Whee! So fast. Marquise Montomba. We meet at last, whoever you are. Okay, more of those should hit. I feel cheated. He's got an awfully big crew, though. Well, at least some of them hit. That actually will give me a bigger advantage than I will give it credit for. Because I will give it zero credit. Whoa! I got this. Oh my god. I'm so freaking close. Oh, I was so close. I was really close. Well, no time like the present. I've still got an equal chance of catching him, though. Hey, a decent amount hit him. But frankly, my chance of hitting him hasn't changed. Like at all. All right, you need to be very, very aware of what I'm doing here. My fingers can't be misaligned like they were before. I've got two-shot bonus on him. I got this. Yay! Darn it. Yeah, I figured. Yay! Yeah, I should have just stuck with thrusts. The vicinity of Grand Granada. Do you have any idea how excellent of a find that is? And I got a replacement ship. 
Today is looking up. All right, let's get the taverns got for me. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna avoid that. Already gone there. I'll get these ships fixed up. Whatever. Insufficient crew. I really wonder if I should just have one ship. It almost seems like the natural thing to do at this point. See, I'm perfectly fast going this direction. The other direction, I was so slow that I had to shout we just for effect. And I'm at Port Royal. Ooh! Now that's worth it. Let's see if I can get one more dance in. Oh, no dance. Just ruby ring. Oh my goodness, you shouldn't. Well, okay. I'm overwhelmed. Where's my sister? Down there. On I sail to land beyond the elephant seals. So remember when I said that there was a war canoe that I didn't care about? Well, here it is, right here. And it's getting out of my range. Oh well. Look who I found. Da da da. Baron Raimundo. Sorry, I had to pause there for a second. Oh, I can't believe so many that hit. Time to fight the Onion Man. Come here, Onion Man. You are laughably slow. Really? You are laughably slow. There we go. Santa Domingo. Now that's helpful. I guess I'll be finding her next time. Because that's it for today, everyone. I hope you enjoyed. I certainly did. Today, I defeated Baron Raimundo, obviously. <laughs> you think I can't defeat him? And Marquis Montalban on Rogue Difficulty. I'll be swashbuckler in no time. So all I have to do is sell the ship, which I shall do on camera for some strange reason, even though I just said it's the end of the episode. Why do I think this way? Anyways, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Shipwright, new ships, repair, sell. Yeah, I'm sure. Merchant, no goods. That's it for today, everyone. Bye!